Hello and welcome to resources and services to support student coursework this spring. This session is being recorded and the video along with past workshop videos will be available at the Skill Builder website, which is libguides.agnescott.edu forward slash skill builders. Next slide, please. We have seven departments in academic affairs representing us today. And our goal is to let you know that we are open for business and also to provide you with an overview of the services and resources available to support you. So starting us off is Mina Ivanova from the Center for Writing and Speaking. Mina, take it away. Hello and welcome. Uh, we are excited to see you. So as you know, the Center for Writing and Speaking is uh, a peer tutoring service and we have 34 undergraduate peer tutors who are here to support all of your writing and speaking needs. And we hope that during this time of being apart from each other, we can also serve as a way to uh, maintain the sense of community. You can book an appointment at cws.agnescott.edu. And uh, we are generally open Sunday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, you can certainly come with any kind of assignment for any subject at any stage of completion um, and get it tutored either synchronously or asynchronously. Uh, the asynchronous tutoring allows you to receive comments within 24 hours from the appointment time. Uh, so if you plan ahead, that's a good way for you to get feedback. And we also um, house the specialized career development uh, peer tutors who work in conjunction with the CWS and the OICD. So if you want someone to look at your resume or cover letter, that's uh, the service you want to see. In addition, on our website, you will find many other resources, handouts, um, recordings of uh, various workshops for writing skills and uh, much more. Uh, if you are a student who wants to receive one-on-one -on -one tutoring uh, with the same tutor every week for an hour, then you can join our partners program and emails with the application form have gone out. If you have questions, please contact me or Imani Youngbei, who is the CWS coordinator. Uh, lastly, uh, we, oh, next slide, please. <laughs> um, we uh, do offer a number of on-campus resources. So if you are among the students who are on campus, you can use our space in McCain G14. It's key card access. Please make sure that you have the green dot on Medicat. And uh, please do not um, congregate uh, at more than 10 people for that space. Um, and um, the instructions for how to maintain um, social distancing and hygiene are all posted around the space. Thank you, and we hope to see you for tutoring. Great, thank you. So now I'm gonna talk about McCain Library. McCain Library is open for business, and we are ready to help you build the research skills that you need to be successful. So uh, one of the things that we wanna highlight the most is our research appointments. We want you to schedule a research appointment using the research appointment button on the library website to set up a time with a librarian to receive one-on-one -on -one coaching to your needs. So all appointments are held via Zoom or Google Hangouts. And uh, we can also do it by phone, depending on your preference. So all those options are in the form that you fill out when you set up an appointment. In addition to helping you use databases to find background information and evidence for your research projects, librarians are pretty good at listening to your ideas and helping you determine what kind of information you'll probably need to achieve your goals. So you don't have to do this alone, librarians love helping and we're here for you. If you have a quick question though, about how to access a specific resource um, or want to know what our hours are, you can email us at library at agnescott.edu or use our chat widget, which you see a little image of this here on this slide, um, which is located on our library homepage. Both services are staffed all the hours the library is open and it really is one of the quickest ways to get help. So just feel free to contact us and communicate with us. Chris, do you want to tell them more? 
Uh, my name is Christopher Bishop. I'm a librarian here at McCain Library, Agnes Scott. And the library is open to Agnes students, faculty, and staff. As you can see from our times here, it's Sunday through Thursday until 8 p.m. Normally we open at 8 a.m. The big change this semester is that we're not open on Saturdays. Um, Non-Agnes visitors are not allowed in the building because you need key card access. And if you can, as you can see here, there's directions that tell you how you're going to get in the building through the ground floor with your ID card during those times. Um, and then we're also setting up, and we've just started this today, we're setting up a locker system where you will be able to place a hold for items. And then even if we're not open, that hold wall will basically process the time that you want to come and pick it up. And then you'll have access to the building after hours, and then you'd be able to pick up those items from the locker. So basically, you can get anything you need. 24-7. Um, and then everything that we normally circulate and provide is still available to on-campus and local community members. That would include study spaces, computers, printing, scanning. And then even if you are on campus or especially if you're off campus, um, you can place a hold for items and that's just to ensure the safety of our patrons. So we prefer that people don't go browsing in the stacks, but rather place a hold and then we'll go and retrieve those items for you. And again, that would include books, DVDs, equipment. We have cameras, tripods, uh, audio recording devices, podcasting, all types of different things. And those are available on our website, which uh, Casey referred to before. And at the URL that's here, um, libguides.agnescott.edu forward slash worldcat, that's where you'll see directions and it tells you how to place a hold and retrieve items in, from our catalog, which is worldcat. I believe that's all for the library. So hi, uh, my name is Anastasia Owen. I'm the Instructional Support Fellow for the Center for Digital and Visual Literacy. Um, you have probably heard of us mostly because of the work that we do around the digital portfolios, but we are the one of the resource centers on campus um, that do a lot with digital production and everything digital and visual literacy. So the primary thing that we do is cut uh, different types of peer-to-peer -peer tutoring so specifically, students can meet with fellow students So you probably met and seen in your class. For example, we actually have Nusrat in uh, this session right now. Um, and you can meet with other tutors like Nusrat virtually. And we also have a customized peer-to-peer -peer option. And those are for individuals that are on campus or near campus and want to use the on-campus resources. So in order to do a customized peer-to-peer -peer or virtual session, you would need to go to our WC online, make an appointment with a tutor on the corresponding appointment schedule, and then you would meet your tutor in a separate room. So we stress that because in um, compliance with the CDC guidelines and obviously keep people safe and social distance, we do wanna stress that tutors are in one room and then clients are in another room. Um, and the rooms that we do occupy in the basement of McCain are G11 and G37, which are the Mac labs. But I also wanna mention before I get to that is that we do have a help chat tool that you can access on our website, which is cdvl.agnescott.org, stress.org, it's not .edu. Um, you can also email us, but you will generally get a faster response if you use the chat tool because it is staffed by CDBL staff, ready and willing to help you with whatever quick needs that you have. Um, we also do a lot of in-class workshops, open labs, and as I mentioned, peer-to-peer -peer tutoring. Uh, you've probably seen me in your class or you will see me in your class alongside a tutor at some point. And we'll probably be talking about WordPress or something to do with the Adobe suite or something to do with how to make a video or podcasting, et cetera, et cetera. We do anything that is virtual production, digital production, um, which we also have in our physical spaces, a flex studio, which is available for students, staff and faculty to reserve something with. Um, you do do that through the library reservations um, but in terms of accessing the building and accessing all the spaces in the CDVL, we are in the bottom, the basement of McCain Library. We are at that side door in between McCain and Austin. You do still need to do the Medicat system before coming to campus. Our building hours are generally 8 to 8 or 12 to 8, and then the Mac Lab rooms match the library's hours. So as long as the library is open, you can access those rooms. Thank you.
Tiffany, are you going next? Hey, yes. Hello, my name is Tiffany, Tiffany Sadler, and I am the user services manager at the wonderful ITS department. Just a few things to highlight this year is that all requests that come that are coming in are going to go to the ITS email address, which is itshelp at agnescott.edu. Uh, we also have um, the option to you also have the option to call in and the option to actually make an appointment with the Calendly appointment link. And it's on our information slide for reference. Um, we do have um, new Wi-Fi instructions that have been sent out through email. We also have that posted. And we also have a portal, which is a a remote desktop, a remote, a virtual remote desktop environment that allows students access and faculty access to some common uh, software applications. And you don't need anything but a browser to be able to access uh, those pieces of software. Uh, one thing that has changed since last semester is that Google Cloud Print has ended as of the end of December. And so what that means is that there is no longer a mobile printing option. So if you want to print on campus, you will have to actually go to one of the um, systems on campus, like in the library or the labs and print to the Canon printers all over campus. And then I'm gonna hand it over to Emily as she'll talk about how to um, import a portal into Canvas and the other options there. Emily. I have to unmute first. Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Emily Gwynn. Um, I'm the Canvas administrator and I manage our academic technology services, which includes China Wilson, who's on this call. Um, we are under ITS and we support Canvas, the college's course management system and Zoom, as well as the technology in the classroom and um, some other things. And as Tiffany said, um, if you have any issues or questions about these tools, please don't hesitate to reach out to the help desk. Um, you know, we've gotten a number of, of calls, things like you can't access your Canvas course or you're having audio troubles in Zoom, you can't find an assignment that a professor has posted. You know, we see it all. Um, I put some links in this uh, slideshow uh, support sites with this, um, that include Canvas and Zoom FAQs, videos, guides um, to help you use these tools. And then um, as you mentioned earlier, Tiffany, a Porto, if your classroom is using it, you will see a link in your modules to the Aporto and you sign in. In these slides, you'll also see some videos on how to use Aporto and some FAQs as well. Next slide, China. Um, and just remember, um, ITS is in the uh, basement of Walters, the ground floor of Walters. Um, and as Tiffany said, just the um, to make an appointment, you'll need to use that calendar link because the um, doors are locked. So you'll have to call or email, make an appointment, and then you can schedule an in-person visit. And of course, our hours are 8.30 to 4.30. And you will also need to make an appointment to pick up those ID cards as well. Thank you. Hi, my name is Irene Ferran. I'm one of the career coaches in the Office of Internship and Career Development. And we are here um, and open for business to help students in terms of career exploration and development. Um, so we are available to support students with, um, if they need help writing their resume, writing cover letters, um, working on their LinkedIn profile, practicing for an interview, um, whether it's for an internship or a job. So the way that you can um, receive help is we have career peers and um, as Imani, um, excuse me, Nina mentioned earlier that they, we work, um, collaborate actually with the CWS. And so you can schedule an appointment with a career peer through the um, mywconline.com link. And the career peers can help you with resume, cover letters, LinkedIn profile reviews and practice interviews. 
We also are offering virtual walk-in hours, um, Monday through Thursday, 4 to 5 p.m., and it's via Zoom, and we have breakout rooms so you can meet one-on-one -on -one with either a career coach or a career peer. If you'd like to schedule an appointment with one of our career coaches, um, please go to Compass. And um, for the most part, we are offering appointments um, via video, phone, or in-person. Um, the in-person appointments are somewhat limited, but someone is on campus um, Monday through Friday. And we want to remind students to please check Handshake um, for our upcoming events. And Handshake is also our job and internship um, job listing um, site. And we have lots of career guides and resources on our webpage and a link is included here. Next slide. We are located in Buttrick Hall on the garden level. Um, and our office hours are 8.30 to 4.30. And we look forward to working with you this semester. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. My name is LaShondra Owens, or Chandra, that's where I typically use. And I am the director of the Resource Center for Math and Science. The Resource Center for Math and Science, you'll typically see as the RCMS, is an academic support and peer tutoring center devoted to promoting and supporting student success in your math and science gateway courses. So to meet with tutors this semester, we are completely virtual. So you would just follow the link, uh, whether you use the RCMS Canvas page or if you go to the RCMS webpage, which is listed on the slides, you'll be able to find the schedules where every tutor is hyperlinked at the time that they're supposed to be available. If you have any questions um, or any concerns or just kind of figuring out how to actually get through the website or if there's anything extra that you would like um, to get more information about that we didn't provide, you can always email me. But um, in the RCMS, how we can help, you will be able to have peer-led tutorials with students that um, have already completed the courses and been recommended by faculty to serve as tutors. Um, we also provide supplemental instruction workshops for some of your courses. Those will be also outlined on those schedules. And um, we help with problem solving and just content mastery and skill concepts. For handouts, you'll be able to find any handouts, announcements, or schedule changes by visiting our Canvas page as well as um, on the Canvas page and the RCMS webpage, you will see a link to a Padlet where if there are any changes that will occur to a student's schedule availability, or if there's anything that needs to get out to you, the student um, that has not been placed on the schedule, you can find it there. Next slide. And when we are in person, or if you are in person, the RCMS is located in Campbell Hall in suites G23 and G25. What is available in those suites are study spaces, computers for your use, as well as resource library. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Clementine Hakizimana, and I'm one of the study abroad advisor in the Center for Global Learning. The Center for Global Learning is a hub for study abroad and for the international students. So we assist you with all your plans to study abroad, starting with journeys in your first year, and then with the faculty-led global study tools, as well as a semester long or year long study abroad, independent study abroad. We, um, we are currently, all our advising sessions at the moment are virtual, so please, um, schedule an appointment via Compass, and we can meet either through Google Hangout, Zoom, or by phone if it's more convenient. Uh, we are also for international students. This is where you come for all your immigration questions that you have, or if you're new and you're trying to figure out how to navigate the US classroom or any other cultural differences, this is also where we'll be uh, contacting, uh, we'll be helping you. Um, so you can also, we are open, we are currently open from 8.30 to 4.30, Monday to Friday. So you can come by uh, if you have a quick question or if you need to drop 
uh, a document or any other item. For any information regarding study abroad uh, journeys, or as I said, um, faculty-led or independent, please access CARA, which is this, uh, where we host, house all our information about the programs that are available to students at Agnes Scott, as well as the applications. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you have any question, uh, please email us at globallearning at agnescott.edu. Next slide, please. So we are located in Battery Hall uh, 14B, that's on the first floor. Um, and then as I mentioned earlier, we are open from 8.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. And uh, the best way to reach us is by email, as I mentioned, or to schedule an appointment through campus.